Hi, John here at Daylight Design, back in to show what we're all about. We've been doing this for a while, where we use cotton wicks to deliver water to small nursery pots. We find that eight inch wick is a real nice size, not so much for the pot or the wick, but it's just nice size for handling. Even for these big trays, I use an eight inch wick. This particular soil is a mixture of 75% coconut coir, 25% worm castings. It's all organic. So I'm making a hole for the transplant. The bottom of my net pot has a hole in it so I can just push my finger up here. These are a little wet because I didn't want them to dry out when I brought them out here so I put some water in the tray. And then this will, this goes down in into the pot. Eventually this is going to end up looking just like this. And that's what I want to get people excited about is experimenting with different types of lettuce, different types of soil. I have a tray here that has got three strings in the bottom that go laterally. And there's water in the tray underneath. So water is delivered to this top tray by the three strings. And then these net pots sit right on top of those wicks. And that's all they need to, to, to start and create new seedlings like these. The empty net pot looks like, well, here's a bunch of them. What I've done is taken the scissors and cut out the bottom middle so that when you when you go to transplant, you just stick your finger in there and you, you, you cut your plug out for transplant. We developed this system where I just make these in my uh, back room here, where I, I cut out these plastic squares, I drill this hole, and I, I use the same feet on here that I use on the pots. So this fits over the neck of the soda bottle and then we, we drill a hole in the cap to make a sleeve to hold, hold this in place. And that's it, it's sort of like a miniature hydroponic system. So I think I'm ready now to show you what we do outside. Everything we do in trays, we do indoors because if we do this outdoors, we would, we have water in the tray, we would attract mosquitoes. So the water's pumped from a reservoir, which is a five gallon bucket down here, up into this tray, and it travels through this tray, down through here, back into the next tray, and it just does a zigzag all the way through and then back into the reservoir. This is the water reservoir, which is simply a five gallon bucket. We've got a hole drilled in the side. If it rains, we catch a lot of rainwater and I don't want this whole thing to flood. So we, we have a, an overflow, which you have to have. This holds the connections for our pump to the electric. And then in the winter time, this will hold the connection for the uh, heater that goes in this bucket. And in here, there's a thermostat that will turn on the electric for that heater as soon as it gets down to 35 degrees. When the temperature up here gets back up to 45, it will turn that heater off. When we use the row cover, we throw it over these hoops and we use these clips to hold that row cover in place. This is going to be a uh, 12 months, all year long operation where you might stop growing for a couple of weeks when it gets really cold. Oh, you don't have to stop everything. You can just start right back up again. So once a week, Everybody gets fed, indoors, outdoors, and it's all the same way. Except I sometimes I just change the recipe. And I've got a recipe now where I'm using uh, half this 
fish emulsion, which is 511, and the other half, this one, which is um, 231. The way all this works is each, each plant just gets one shot. And this is once a week. And it's convenient that this particular baster delivers one ounce or one shot. And that's worked out very well. I've been promoting gardening the way I do it is early cooking. I think of this garden here is like a big stove top with lots of different pots on it and a chef a chef can do his magic. I go in here and try different types of soil, different types of lettuces, different types of herbs and he's cooking. He's just cooking before he gets it into his real kitchen.